Hey guys, so thought I'd make some updates on uh, putting the tranny back in, seeing how it's the opposite way to pull it apart. Um, uh, first advice is don't do it, like I said, unless you have a good a good amount of lift on your car and everything like that. Like I've been doing it like this, and I'll tell you right now, I wish I, I wish I wouldn't have done it, but I'm glad I did because I'm pretty sure I I fixed the issue. Okay, so let's go under the car, guys. All right, so. The most problem you'll probably have is getting the transmission back in. Okay, with getting the transmission back in, it's it's not about being so perfect or uh, not being aggressive. You have to be very aggressive. I don't mean back it up and slam it in. Don't do anything like that. Get something like this. It's a tranny hoist, or sorry, a tranny jack. Um, you don't need this, a piece of plywood, with like a good size, you know, low rise jack or even one of these older ones, as long as they have a big top and you put a piece of plywood under it, you know, you can kind of stabilize the whole tranny. It's mostly a person being up here and a person at the back pushing and then you being up front and aligning it. Okay, I went ahead and put it into gear so the splines didn't move. And then what you do, is, is to put it in gear you just use a piece of pliers and you just twist it it goes into any gear you can twist it back straight to go into neutral um, what I did to get to get it in is it took me three days okay I don't have all the tools or the proper stuff I didn't even have a clutch alignment tool I, I made one with uh, I used this and then I put it through I'll show you how I do this. Fuck off. Fucking wasps, man. Where'd it go? Damn fucking things. Okay, so I go like this. Like that. And then where's my 10 millimeter? Here it is. So, like, I'm doing everything like backyard style. You just have to use what you have. So here you go. Check this out. Okay, so this is a clutch alignment tool that I made. Okay, what it is, is you have a 10 millimeter socket here, right there, and you have a small spark plug socket here, which is a 5 8. Then you use a mini long socket, so it'll go fit all the way through. The 10 millimeter socket right there fits the pilot bearing perfect. Okay. The um, 5 8 the small um, spark plug socket fits the spline area perfect. It's not about it's not about aligning the clutch up with the splines. It's just about aligning the clutch up with the pressure plate, pilot bearing, and um, clutch and flywheel. Okay, so this will do just that. So you put this in there, and then you tighten down all your pressure plate bolts. Then you pull it out. Recheck it like five times if you need to. I checked it a lot. Then, you know, that's aligned. After you tighten them, use blue Loctite. I wouldn't use red because that's just ridiculous. Because um, 100% you're going to end up having to do it again later on down the road or whatever if you want to do a clutch or anything like that. Pretty much with these cars, doing anything to these cars is pretty much pulling an engine or pulling a transmission. So, um, kind of get used to it. Okay, so there's that, and then when you're putting it in, what I would do is I wiggled it up, like as in like turning the transmission, but I already have it pushed in. You'll feel the tip go inside the tranny, and then you feel it stops at the splines. So you have to be really aggressive once it's at that stopping point. It about stops about an inch. It'll be like about here, and it will just stop. It won't go any farther. You can't push it in any harder or anything like that. I wouldn't recommend putting in the bolts and trying to tighten it randomly and just maybe breaking something like one of the uh, bearings inside the pilot bearing. Um, anything like that. Uh, just wiggle it really aggressively like freaking use all your force but keep it pushed in while you're wiggling it up and down side to side and around. And you'll start to notice that it'll slowly start wiggling and then if your friend's pushing real hard it will just go clunk and right into place. It took me about three or four days to get it 
because I relate this is the first time ever pulling a tranny and it's on this twin turbo all-wheel drive car which is a pain in the ass and I got it I've only owned it for a day and I had to do this so it kind of sucked um, but that's just advice on how to do that that's the worst part the rest stuff of the stuff guys is really easy like exhaust bolts you know you got to put this back with your subframe your you know bolt up your CVs like it's it's all pretty simple stuff you can go online and get a, a manual on how to do it I, I had never done this before didn't have any friends helping me besides the one to help me to put on the tranny and 